Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 243. Look up field markup on forms. In tip 239, I talked about using your browser developer tools to inspect the markup that Power Pages provides. This is especially useful when writing custom JavaScript for Power Pages forms. In this tip, We'll look at the markup used by lookup fields on the form. Lookup fields are special in that they offer a more complex user interface where someone can open up a modal to search for a row to select. While we're not going to get into the markup of that modal, even the markup of what you see on the form is different because a lookup is actually represented by three inputs, not just one. Of the three inputs, Two are hidden. The first one is probably the most important input. This is the one where the ID matches the logical name of the column from Dataverse, and it contains the primary ID of the row selected in that lookup. The other hidden field is used to store the table referenced by the lookup, and it has an ID of the column logical name followed by underscore entity name. The field that is visible to the user is the name of the row. It has an ID of the column logical name, followed by underscore name. When working with lookups in JavaScript, I always make sure to update all three inputs to make sure they are accurate. This ensures any data saved to Dataverse will be what the user expects. Another thing to keep in mind is that when using form metadata, you can transform a lookup into a dropdown. In this case, the markup will be a simple select. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 243 on lookup field markup on forms useful.